Okay, hello! Welcome to Gourmet Pens' channel with me. I'm Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. And I have a pen to share with you today. It's not my pen, so it's hashtag not my pen. It belongs to my very good friend, Candice. Uh, she is at Inks and Anchors. I will link to her. This pen is a special one. It is the Carolina Pen Company Turquoise Pen Club pen. So this was a group of turquoise pen lovers that wanted to do a custom pen. And if you, you probably already know this, uh, Jonathan Brooks of Carolina Pen Company is basically a blank pouring wizard. And there was, there was, there was a, a group by basically, and it was for a custom pour. And nobody had seen the pour because he hadn't done it yet. So he just kind of described what it was going to look like. And um, poor Jonathan, he's been battling like health issues. So it took a while for it to come out and now it's here. And then I just wanted to share it with you just cause it's fun. So you can't buy this exact pen again, but Jonathan's got like a ton of really cool blanks. Some are similar. And so I've got a couple Carolina Pen Company pens myself and I totally wish I had one of these. So Candice, if you ever sell this pen, I get first dibs. So the pen package came with the very adorable pen wrap. I love this pen wrap. It's made by That's a Wrap. They are veteran-made wraps in the States. And inside is the pen. It also came with this pen, pen rest. Like, fant oh, like, look at this. Okay, look at that. It's, it's so cool. I want the pen rest. I love it. It's like oceany, absolutely stunning pen. And of course, because it's like a pour, some all the pens are a little bit different. So some are a little darker, some are a little lighter, some have more swirls. And so this is just a really spectacular specimen. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Just beautiful and this is the Charleston model so it's all round the the cap is not flush that has slightly rounded conical ends it's just beautiful it's like dark clear-ish blue with sparkles white swirls it reminds me of a glacier and I think it's just gorgeous very very comfortable for me it's a really nice size and weight really good balance and so if you're looking for a Charleston pen, I, I highly recommend them. So I just, I love this pen. Oh my God. Just beautiful. This particular one is equipped with an extra fine Jovo steel nib because Candace has gone to the dark side and she does beautiful Zen tangling. So she likes to have a variety of nibs and as such, she has an extra fine nib. So I love her. So I'll forgive it. But I just, look, look how cool this is. It's so awesome. Anyway, I just think it's fun. Let's do some writing with the extra fine nib. I am going to start over here because I just, I feel like it. So, should I zoom in a little so you could see a little better? Let's do that. <sighs> of course, I'm over here on the screen, so hopefully when I'm editing this, it works out. So let's get cracking. Mm. Such a dreamy turquoise pen, Carolina. <sighs> I will rarely admit this. But this is a really nice nib. I mean, it's a Jovo extra fine, so it's like a fine, but it's very nice. Carolina Pen Company. And this is the... Charleston. Why am I holding it so high up? Just so that you can see the writing. Um, this is the... Should we change up the font? That's a joke. It's like change up the handwriting style. 
Um, let's change it to this fun thing. The pen is so comfortable. I'm so jealous that this is not my pen. But this is the fantastic thing about having pen friends. They lend me their pens. And sometimes I borrow the pens multiple times. And sometimes I kind of get it out of my system. I'm like, okay, I've gotten nice pictures. I've done right, nice writing samples. I don't need this pen. And sometimes I end up getting the same pen. So, considering Candace's taste, when I borrow her pens, I usually end up reborrowing it or buying it and ending up with the same thing. The nib, as I said, is an extra fine, delightfully tuned, and of course you want to know what this turquoise ink is. It is Mont Blanc Unicef Blue, which is a nice light, clean turquoise, lovely shading. And one thing I want to point out, no, I don't want to point anything out. One thing I want to ask you before we continue writing is, what would you ink this pen with? I need to know because I'm not going to return this pen probably for like a couple more weeks. Sorry, Candace. And I just want to know what else I should ink it with because it's got like the dark, it's got medium blue, it's got glitter. Like, I feel like Diamine Tropical Glow with the shimmer would look really cool just because it'll match the lighter turquoise with the glittery bits. Like, can you see the glittery bits? Let me just come up real close. So sexy. Anyway, it's spectacular. So let me keep writing before this just turns into like a different kind of session. Um, we're gonna do seven wildly panting fruit flies. I don't know why I'm doing that. I guess it's because it's like a fever dream in my head because it's so hot. Um, okay. I'm okay with extreme heat so long as I'm on a beach or in the water. Otherwise, I am crotchety and miserable. How about you? I'm not gonna do line variation stuff because you've probably seen or used a Jovo nib before. Um, it's a firm steel nib. You can squeeze out line variation, she says, as she says she's not gonna do it, and here she is doing it. The extra fine is actually not an extra fine. It's not super, super fine. It's not scratchy. Um, it's got like a tiny bit of feedback. A really nice nib, I think, for just regular daily use. Um. So basically, this entire pen package with the wrap and the adorable little pen stand, like, sorry, pen rest, like, it's, this is delightful. I so regret not getting in on this, and I have a bit of FOMO. So how am I going to get over this FOMO? I'm just going to hopefully, bo sorry, I'm really, my, my hair is touching my face and it's making me itchy. Um, I'm going to hopefully borrow this pen from Candace a little longer and just like try to get it out of my system. Anyway. Um, delightful, delicious, super fun. How about you? What do you think of the pen? Tell me. Tell me about your ink. I want to know what ink you'd put in this so that I could put it in it. And just tell me your stories. Entertain me. Delight me if you want. Um, okay.
Now we are going to do the end. This is it. You've seen the delights. This is the Carolina Pen Company Charleston Turquoise Pen Club video featuring myself, who is Gourmet Pens, of Gourmet Pens Industries, and this stunning killer pen. Wait, there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please share your thoughts, your likes, your comments, your love. Please subscribe. I would appreciate it so much. And if you really want, you can find me on Patreon, but you don't have to. But I would love it, but you don't have to. Wow, my brain just like totally turned off there. Anyway, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. Take care. We will see you for the next